What's going on everybody? Welcome into the 5 Foreign Fisherman YouTube channel. Obviously you guys clicked on this episode because you want to see how to purge crayfish. Now today we're starting off this glorious video at the beautiful river because we have to collect our crayfish. Now if you guys have already done that, skip forward I guess or whatever you want to do. There will be like a little timestamp popping up right now of like where the actual purging starts. But if you guys want to see how I collect my crayfish then Stay tuned for this part of the video. All right, so there's gonna be a couple things that I'm using to collect my crawdads, crayfish, whatever you wanna call them. First, I'm gonna be using a trap. Now, I've already collected a couple with my hands and while my trap is soaking, I'm just gonna be collecting, you know, as many as I can with my hands. Uh, my bait of choice today is actually going to be hot dogs. Now, these are just like the chicken based ones the that are- The cheapest ones you can yeah, get. Yeah, they're 99 cents for an eight pack and I just took half my pack. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take these guys here. I'm gonna throw we all We also four have of them. another video of how to make homemade traps if you don't have a homemade yeah, trap. Yeah, there's a, I'll link, I'll link those down <laughs> in the descriptions, but I'll be making better videos this year because this is like my second year on YouTube. So I'll be making a little bit better videos homemade traps will do there will be an episode here if you guys want to like hit the notification bell so that you guys are staying tuned for this but i'm gonna do a video comparing like one of these expensive traps which i think these things are only like 15 bucks at walmart so i'll be comparing one of these traps to like a homemade trap that you can make for like a dollar so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna tie this rope up we're gonna go over here we're gonna set it we'll pick you guys back up in probably about 15 minutes after i let this soak for a while We'll see what our catch is and then uh, after we collect what we're going to want to collect to eat tonight then we're just going to end up sending it back to the house and we'll show you guys how to purge our catch. All right everybody so we're back. It's been roughly half an hour I'd say. Uh, this is where we chose to drop the trap. It's just kind of a little like side pool here showing that main currents out there and this is a little side pool like when I'm crawd adding that's just what I look for but there's a bunch like down here around the trap and I, so I'm not sure how many is in the trap. So, grab our rope. Pull up our trap. Oh God, there's a bunch on the outside. And, oh no. I don't know if you guys can see in there. Check that out. That's our catch, including what I got with, you know, with my hands. Uh, I don't know how many is in there. I'm not 100% sure. But as you guys can see, like, I don't know if, let's find one in here that has some on it. We need kind of a big pincher guy here. So if you guys, can the camera see that on mm -hmm. their little claws there? All that little like white stuff there. So those yeah. are parasites. Hold on, let me see them. They're moving there. Now, boiling them gets rid of a lot of that. But the point of purging is these guys have like stuff in their little you know intestinal tract and stuff so basically what we're attempting to do is try to let them poop some of that stuff out before we eat it and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and we're going to head back to the house and uh we'll show you guys how to purge them all right everybody so we've made it back here to my house and now we're going to be showing you guys exactly how to purge these crawdads crayfish whatever you want to call them you're only going to need a couple things okay you're going to need something to put them in so whether that be a cooler a five gallon bucket uh you could just use like a regular um how do i explain it? like you know like just a house bucket like a stock pot or anything like anything that anything that can hold water anything that can hold water you could use like a tub anything like that you're gonna need water you're gonna just want to turn it on just to a slight trickle and that's to keep them alive because it's 96 degrees outside right now. And if I put this in here and just leave the water, they're going to die. It's going to get too hot. It's going to kill them. They're going to run out of oxygen. And obviously, you're going to need your crawdads. Okay. And so what you guys are going to do is you're going to take your uh, crawdads here. I feel like I dropped one. You're going to take your crawdads. By the way, these traps are actually are super nifty. I bought this thing at St. Vincent de Paul for... I don't know if it was seven dollars or if it was half off. I don't remember. I think it was half off. Okay, but anyways, guys, you're gonna take your crawdads there that you got in your bucket. You're gonna take them, and we're just gonna go ahead. Oops, we lost one. Yeah, look at the size of this guy, guys. Look at that big juicy one. And you can see the little uh, parasite things on there. So you're gonna take it. You're gonna throw it in there, and pretty much now, um, you're just gonna kind of let them sit here. 
and do their thing for uh, for a couple hours and I'm just gonna close the lid on the cooler. I'm just gonna leave the hose in there so that it constantly has fresh water. And I'm gonna leave them for, I'm gonna say probably about six hours or so. Um, yeah, they should still be alive. But we'll go through and we'll get the alive ones and the dead ones out when we're done. Cause I'm not sure what lived and what didn't live. Cause obviously, you know, they don't do super good all the time. So yeah, we're just gonna sit here. It will uh, tell you the results when we're done. Okay, everybody. So it has been like, well, I don't know, probably six or seven hours or so roughly. And our crawdads are done purging. Um, what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna sort through and find which ones are dead and which ones aren't. Um, obviously, like I said, you know, you're gonna lose some. Like, I can't tell if he's dead or not. He's moving a little bit. Some of them are kind of slower than others. But anyways, you guys aren't supposed to eat dead crawfish. Now, I've never gotten sick from it, but you know, it's one of those things you don't, you know, you don't want to sit there and test it. So uh, let's see if they can see the bottom. I don't know if you guys are able to see the bottom, but like down there in the corner, yeah, you guys can see that. So that is actually like poop and stuff that has came out of them. You can see all the little floaties in the water, but yeah, down there on the bottom, like all that stuff in the water, that, I don't know if you guys can yeah, see they that. Can see. Yeah, so that's all stuff that they pooped out um, and just pushed out. And I think that, you know, these guys are perfectly fine. So I'm going to sit here, go through, uh, and then eat them and figure out which ones are alive and dead and eat them. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, you know, these crawdads came from pretty clean water, so there's not a lot in there. But if you guys get ones from more dirty water, I would definitely recommend. Uh, doing it i think the dirtier the water the more stuff that's going to be inside of them just in my opinion not 100 percent sure but if you guys uh, would show this video around to a few people that would be awesome and uh make sure you subscribe leave a thumbs up and i'll see you guys faces on the next fishing adventure or uh tutorial